The Buddha teaches us how to train the mind to put it into suffering and to find true happiness. And of those words, there's only one that he really defines. It's the training. What your mind is, he doesn't define. Happiness is not defined. Suffering is defined only to the extent of pointing out that it's going to be the same place where you're clinging. But as we do the training, we find out a lot more about happiness and suffering and the mind. Which is probably why he leaves them undefined to begin with, because you're going to be redefining them as you go along. Like the word mind. In Pali they use the word jitta, and it means both heart and mind at the same time. The qualities that we associate with the emotions and the will. And your thinking mind. They're all in one in one jitta. So think about that as you're training yourself here. You're not only training your ability to figure out what's going wrong, say when the, you can't stay focused. But you're also working on your will, you're working on your emotions. After all, if your emotions run wild, then there's no way you're going to be able to stay focused on the breath. And you have to want to stay here for it to happen. This is not something that simply happens naturally. Because the distracted mind is just as natural as the undistracted mind. In fact, it's a lot more common. But as the Buddha points out, when the mind is at normalcy, when it's in a balanced state, then it's centered. It doesn't think of doing anything unskillful. That's the quality we're looking for, to bring the mind, heart, to normalcy. In Thai, they actually have two separate words for heart and mind, but they tend to put them together a lot. Jit is mind, jai is heart. And oftentimes they'll talk about your jit jai together. When they make a distinction, for example, when they say that you have a good mind or a good heart, a good mind for them doesn't mean that you're smart in, t in terms of book knowledge. A good mind is one that's able to put up with hardships maintain its balance, maintain a basic cheerfulness. A good heart is when you're kind to others. So all these qualities are going to be developed as we develop the mindfulness, develop concentration, develop discernment, develop the Brahma-viharas. We're trying to get at this heart-mind complex from all sides. So on days when it feels dry, ask yourself, okay, where's some little heart juice for the meditation? You may want to drop the breath for a while and go to goodwill. Goodwill for all beings, all the beings immediately around you and all the beings off into the distance. Often it's easier to have it for beings off in the distance than it is for to have people right up close. But it's for the people right up close where you need it most. So try to Train all your heart, all your mind, and bring all your heart, all your mind to the practice. That way they develop in an all-around way, a balanced way, a healthy way. And as you develop them, you develop your insights into suffering and you develop your insights into happiness as well. Your, stun, your understanding and your appreciation just keep on growing.